Welcome to the new age of individual level speedrunning for Red Ball. You may have begun with a new wave of runners, including myself and others like XDX Box Jaja and Not Very Good, but the new developments don't stop there. We had the introduction of the in-game timer edition of Red Ball for easy to the frame timing of runs. Strategies continue to evolve, but the latest development is massive and has come about primarily from the efforts of one person. Sage or Zika has made a task hack for Red Ball, and its effects have been surprisingly influential. Thanks to this hack, we can now create tool assist speedruns for each individual level. We can theory craft new strategies with perfect precision, try out new approaches, and just generally understand the game better. Now, I had been aware that this hack was in the works, but hadn't thought too much about it. In fact, I was kind of sore that my time being the best source of pr for precise game analysis was coming to a close. But oh well, that's progress. Then, on the night of February the 13th, Friday the 13th came on a Saturday that month, everything came to a head. An early version of the task hack had just been released, and some people were playing around with it. Then a rather garbled exclamation came from Not Very Good. It, it turned out he had just untied level 5. Not using the task, he just got it. This was big news, but the events of that night had only just begun. I'm not sure if Not Very Good knew what he had just done, but the tassers would soon figure it out. I was feeling a little dejected now that Not Very Good had displaced yet another of my records, and now the task was proving its potential as new top dog. I figured I'd get back to reclaiming my aisle records in a day or so. Then I got this ping. One quick look and I knew it was big. Roblox 8192 had just passed a faster level 1. I had been trying on and off to do this for weeks, and within hours of people playing around with the task hack, it had been found. Well, the race was on. I needed to get this RTA. Once I had Red Ball and OBS fired up, my attempt session was only 3 minutes and 20 seconds long, and I had it. Level 1 completed in 3.065 seconds. Quickly, I trimmed the video and uploaded it to YouTube, then swung over to speedrun.com, and it was too late. Roblox was already there with the untied. I entered my run just three minutes behind him, and not a moment too soon because just one minute later, Motor Jam had his run up. Another four minutes and not very good would join us atop the leaderboard. Then, still in that first hour, Norxor and Pancake Master 28 would get their own 3.065 second runs. And the same day, XDX Box Jaja, Radical Macaroni, Mero 7829 and Zenin would all tie the new world record. Today, the leaderboard has 17 people with this new record. Here, let me fix up speedrun.com's bad record sorting. There, that's better. So, let's look at how this record was achieved. First, we need to know that Red Ball has a horizontal speed cap for user acceleration. This speed limit is 5 when on the ground, but it is only implemented by refusing to accelerate if your speed is already above 5. So, if your speed is just below 5, you can accelerate to faster than 5. This is exactly what happens when you accelerate at the start of a level. You reach a speed of 5, which because of rounding error is actually 4.999 whatever. So on the next frame you can accelerate to a speed of 5.5. Then because of rotational friction you drop down to 5.33, which is essentially Red Ball's maximum rolling speed. However, if you jump exactly on the frame where your speed was 5.5, you will maintain that speed throughout your jump. This was known and is what I stumbled upon when I set the 3.097 second record for level 1. What's been discovered is that if you press left for exactly two frames while in the air, it will decelerate back down to 4.999, so on your next jump you can reacquire your 5.5 speed. This effect is what made level 1 possible in 3.065 seconds. It's also what not very good must have done in his 4.03 2 second level 5. In fact, after it was explained, Mario Mario and Roblox would go on to tie that record. Then, in a few hours later, I would too. Oh, I did 
get it. 4032. To date, it is still just the four of us with that record. But there's another level where this short left press trick can save a frame. Level two, funny ball. Now at this point, my levels one, two, three, and five untied world records have all been sniped from underneath me. Only my level four untied stood unblemished, and I feel pretty confident about it. In each case, except for level three, I managed to tie the new record, but it still sucks. And worse, in three of those cases, it was not very good who undercut me. Imagine being beaten by someone who's named not very good. But now, with level two waiting to be untied, it was my chance to snipe his name from the top of a leaderboard. So I started attempts for that 6.065 second run. Remembering the pain of my previous level two record, I was prepared for a grind. I was therefore pleasantly surprised when after just a couple of hours, I got this run. <coughs> Well, I guess the experience from my previous grinds made this one much easier. And it's sure nice to see that name with a second place trophy beside it. And with that run, I would achieve three world records on one day. And of course, I wasn't alone. The Red Ball community saw a total of 15 world records, including three untieds that day. Now that's how to spend your Valentine's Day. And don't let anyone tell you different. There were other developments that day too, with strategies being honed using the TAS hack, things to cover in the future, but there was one development that would be the spark for my next Red Ball endeavor. That was a task by not very good improving his level three world record by one frame. After he made that, I made my own task and tweaked it to be one more frame faster. The inputs on that second task are not exactly human viable. However, for that 5.903 second run, all the inputs, except for one, are quite doable. That one input is a one frame jump off the platform, which, while quite difficult, is by no means impossible. So maybe I can erase this blemish off my record. I did some attempts and even got a couple good runs like this. Not bad, but still three frames short of that world record and four short of the untied. I'll need to do better. This strategy I'm using for running the level is called task three. I'm not entirely sure why, because the name definitely predates the task hack. Completing it is kind of dodgy, but it is significantly faster than fast three, which is used in full game runs. I'm guessing that someone, probably Nargsor, looked at it Figured it was too hard, so labeled as TAS only. Maybe IL3 would have been a better name, but TAS3 stuck. There is, however, another strategy for level 3. It's the sort of thing one only hears whispers of. The stuff of legend. TAS3. A strategy that maybe really would qualify as TAS only, but the name was taken, so TAS, not TAS. Or maybe it's someone's moniker who discovered it, or who knows. I had heard people talk about it, but could never get a straight answer as to what it was. And there was definitely no recordings of even so much as a failed attempt, but it was definitely faster. I seriously doubted that it was anything more than a myth. But of course, the question of tassing this myth came up. But what even was the strategy? I heard theories about dropping down from the checkpoint or getting an early corner bounce on the lift from the left or right side. But getting up to that checkpoint just takes too long. And even a fantastic corner bounce from the left side of the left wouldn't get you over to the edge of the top platform. And if it did, would turning around to the flag even be possible? As for the right side, 
I and others had tried jumping there straight from the bottom platform and turning back to the lift with anywhere near enough force to get a double jump just seemed impossible. I scoffed at the ideas. But I had to eat my words because Bird Banana found it. So it was indeed a corner jump on the far side of the lift. Well, I wonder if I can use this to get my record back from not very good. I began attempts. Even the opening jump sequence is difficult. Eventually, I at least managed to jump across to the far side of the left. And with that, the attempts began to rack up, but nothing resembling a double jump was happening. Well, I did get one double jump. Nice double jump. Wrong corner. Some nice deflection there, but still no double jump. Then it happened. Oh, that was one. Oh no, I knew that was going to happen. I'm so used to failure, I don't know what to do when the jump finally works. Then it happened again. Oh no, come on! What? That didn't go high enough. It even happened once more. I think I'm missing something. I posted lamenting my inadequate jumps and got a comment from Xbox. I knew he had done some TAS 3 attempts earlier and had meant to ask if he had had any luck. Turns out he too had an almost TAS 3. Ah, oh, that was disappointing. And unlike my failed double jumps, his had plenty of speed. He just bonked. So what was the difference? I went and had a closer look at the Taz. It turns out Taz is not just a simple corner jump, which is what my failed jumps were. Taz is a combination of both a corner jump, like the ones in the Taz 3 strat, and a deflection jump, like in Fast 3. And that's why it works. We lack the speed for a proper corner or deflection jump, but by combining the two effects, we can still make, up, make it up to the flag. What does this mean for pulling it off? It means we have to allow the platform to deflect and then jump. Great, yet another frame-perfect input required to pull this off. In learning all this, I managed to create my own task, which was even faster than bird bananas. under 5.5 seconds. While those particular inputs might not be viable, surely I can get something that will top not very good's record. Damn, what was that? Yeah, what was that? I think I pressed jump a frame early, so just got a regular corner jump though with some deflection, so it went fairly high, just not high enough. This is difficult. Then, finally, I got a good run.
That's right. Taz 3 is so difficult, sometimes you've got to take a break and do something nice and consistent, like Sub-20 Train. I had recently become the seventh person ever to complete a Sub-20 Train run, but this was a new PB by three frames. Anyway, back to Taz 3. There. Holy shit, I did it. Oh, man. I got it, people. The first ever TAS-3 done RTA. And a new world record for level 3. 5.774 seconds. I did this on March 7th. I dropped hints that I might have something to publish in a new video, but it's taken me a while to get around to making this. In the meantime, I've developed a bit of Stockholm Syndrome for TAS. I want to do more attempts. After all, I'm still nine frames short of my task. So I did. And the attempt counter just kept going up. Oh! Now I'm failing proper TAS jumps. The reason is that I'm trying to improve on that previous successfully completed TAS 3. In it, I lost time because I didn't turn left soon enough. This time, I turned left too soon and bonked. I even started streaming my attempts, while trying not to let on that I had one completed TAS 3 under my belt. Oh! Another almost. Apologies, so I'm, I was actually trying to improve my TAS 3, not get my first. And that wouldn't be my only near miss done live. The um, fact that level 3 can be beaten in under 5.5 seconds is utterly absurd. Like, oh, you. Oh! That happened. I missed TAS 3. I think I really might be going insane. This is extremely frustrating, and yet I like it and I want to try more. That one run can't be my only success. Then one evening the stars just seemed to align. Everything felt right, and I got it again. Oh, yeah, I've got another one. Yep. Another one, and it's one frame faster too. But since everything is feeling good, let's keep going. <laughs> Seven ten. A small bonk there, but that's still one more frame faster. Keep going. Nice. What? Taz is free. That's practically three in a row. Not a PB this time, but still. I had hoped to get a 5.6xx for this video, but I haven't got back into that zone since. I guess that can wait until next time. In the meantime, 5.710 seconds can stand as my new untied world record for level three. Now, Enough of those difficult strategies. Let's do something easy. Oh, yeah! That's right. I'm coming for your Xbox. And thanks for watching, folks. Oh, hi again, folks. I just wanted to add a short apology for taking so long to get this video out. You may have noticed that some of the information in this video is a little out of date. There have been major developments in levels four and five, subjects for future videos, hopefully. And one other little thing I did just this afternoon. I'll leave you with that.
There. That's better. <laughs>